It's draft day in the PWHL. That's right. We're rewinding the clock back to the start. And we are going to be the GMs. And we're starting with the three free agents that we have on board. And we're going to redraft the entire league. That's what's coming up today on the PWHL Puck Drop Podcast. Welcome on in. It's time for the PWHL Puck Drop Podcast. All right. So today, this is going to be really exciting. I hope that you enjoy this and play along with us. Um, I am joined by Lindsay from PW Central on YouTube and Instagram, and also Kelsey, a PWHL Boston fan, writer for Inside the Rink. And today we are putting on our GM hats and we're going to redraft the entire PWHL from scratch. So get out your lists. This is more or less like a fantasy draft um, as it really kind of was on the day. It was like, start picking that you can, you can have any player you want. So welcome on in. What are you, what are your thoughts as we get started, Lindsay? Uh, I'm very excited. I kind of took this seriously. Like I'm actually building a team and I'm going to get heartbroken when the players <laughs> take him that I want. <laughs> yes. So what about you, Kelsey? I'm very excited. Um, I haven't really done anything like this before. I've been doing fantasy for quite a bit, but nothing like this on this scale. And I'm going to have to refrain myself from drafting all the Boston players, but I think I'll do okay. <laughs> That's right. We're going to try not to be biased. Um you know, full disclosure, we do have our favorite teams and probably players. Um, so um, we more or less assigned each one of us a team that we are, are a fan of. So I'm taking Toronto, Lindsay is taking Ottawa, and Kelsey is in charge of Boston. And then for the secondary teams, we just randomly to make it, you know, kind of flow. Um, Lindsay will draft for Minnesota. Kelsey will take Montreal and I will draft for New York and we're going to follow the same format, the same order. So we're going to do the snake draft starting at number one with Minnesota and I'm going to put it on the screen so you can follow along. And if you're watching, you know, if you're not watching the video, hopefully you can pull us up on YouTube or on Spotify so you can see, I think that'll make it much more enjoyable. If not, I will um, pause and kind of let you know where we stand. We're probably we're going to do the whole draft, but we might not take the time to expand on the later rounds. So um, we'll just let you know when we get there, you know, how the the lines are looking. And we have to keep it real, you all. We have to, you know, if you don't have a goalie on your team, you're going to need to draft a goalie, et cetera, et cetera. So with that said, <laughs> any questions or complaints <laughs> before we get started? No complaints. Uh, no. Nope. All right. Good. Awesome. <laughs> uh, so we have um, PWHL Minnesota on the clock with the number one draft pick in our redraft. Who are you taking? I was going to go off the board until a couple hours ago, actually. <laughs> Came down to the wire. Um, but I'm going to take Taylor Heisey. I don't think you can go wrong with uh, her as the first pick. Elite shot. Uh, her vision on her passing is insane. She's actually a really underrated PKer as well, her with Kendall Coyne. And she's great at faceoffs as well. And she's from Minnesota, so why not? That's, you know, not much argument or, you know, that's still a solid, solid pick. And, She's also going to be really good for several years. That's, you know, another yes. thing that Very as a GM, you do have to have that in mind as they did in real life. Okay, that was an excellent pick. Uh, and I crossed her off. She was at the top of my list as well. Uh, so I am GM of Toronto. And guess what? I am going to take Mama Spoons, Natalie Spooner. That's right. The leading scorer in the league back home where she belongs sorry there's a wire back home where she belongs I type her name in right here 
She I thought you were going to type in mama spoons. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if anyone calls her that, but I do. <laughs> um, all right. So those were our first two picks. It's so exciting because it's the same as real life. I wonder who's going to depart from that. So next up, Team Boston, you're on the on the stage, and who are you drafting? All right, I think I'm just going to go off the list and take Grace's own winkle. Oh, <laughs> bang. I think she'd make a good pairing with Hillary Knight. I like that pick. So interestingly... They did take Alina Mueller in real life in that third position. And do we have any thoughts about, you know, would you at this point take someone goal? Obviously you would over Mueller. I mean, Mueller is a great player. She, I'm pretty sure she still leads the team in points, but I think it's hard to pass up great someone goal player like her. What do you think so far of Alina Mueller, Lindsay? <laughs> You know, she had such a strong start. I really liked her game. Um, a little bit too much passing, I think. I think she's got to find her shot, maybe find a little bit of confidence. Obviously, she's a really young player. Like, that's, you know, you kind of expect that. But, uh, you know, Zumwinkle, great goal scorer. So hard to argue with that pick. Darn it. Yes. Okay. So, uh, oh, I'm up next. Wait, I got to cross off. <laughs> Up next, uh, that's me for Team New York. Oh my gosh, um, this is, this is, I don't know if this is good or bad, but I'm going off my list. I'm going to take Ella Shelton. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Let it begin. <laughs> yep. It's on, people. Oh, you've screwed up my she board already. so good. I don't have to get personal about it. I mean, <laughs> hockey. <laughs> But best player available, people. All right, next up we have Ottawa. And that's Lindsay, your team. So, obviously, I wanted Ella Shelton, so I'm very disappointed. Um, but I will still go with another great offensive defenseman who's also really good at the D side. I will go with Sophie Jakes. Wow. I need a power play quarterback. I need somebody who can play both sides. Wow. So I'm going with Sophie Jakes. I think Savannah Harmon is about to send you some hate. Me. <laughs> uh, okay, let me, I mean, not a bad pick. Hold on, let me add her. Buy a copy, paste here. Sophie Jakes, what do you think of that one, Kelsey? I think that's a good pick. Um I think Boston got rid of her too early, and I think she's redeeming herself. So I think it was definitely a great pick on your part, especially getting her early. That's great. That looks weird, I must say, but good pick. <laughs> uh, okay. This all looks so weird. I know, right? I mean, some of it is... is... This is just the start. Mm -hmm. All right, Montreal, you're up. All right, I was a little on the fence with this one, but I think I'm going to stick to the script that was written and pick up Aaron Ambrose for Montreal. Okay. I just got a thing that says the meeting will end in 10 minutes. <laughs> so let's try to maybe get through back the other way. All right. Aaron Ambrose looks good. I mean, so like you would probably want a defender there. Obviously, Montreal has their two forwards and goalies. So. Mm -hmm. Things are lining up nicely. So Montreal, uh, with the snake format, you get to pick seventh as well. Who are you taking? All right. Uh, I think I want to go with Jamie Lee Radjari on this one. I think she'd have good chemistry, especially with Bullen and Stacey. I think Lindsay is giving you the look. <laughs> Y'all are killing me. It was hard to not pick her for Boston. I had to do something. Yeah. I'm it was hard for Ottawa. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> It was hard not to pick her for Ottawa, but I needed a defenseman. This is going to be such a, such a cursed roster. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good, though. I could imagine, you know, Rattray fitting in nicely there with uh, Lynn and Stacy for sure. Interest. I mean, I think any team would, you know, be happy to have Rattray. Like they said, she's such a good Swiss Army knife. 
That looks good. This is exciting. <laughs> okay, Ottawa, you're up. Okay, well, I'm sad that Jamie's off the board, but I get Emma Malte, so I am very happy right now. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> Couldn't see that one coming. <laughs> oh my. Okay, that I like that pick too. I mean, you got the Team Canada connection there. I mean, I can't find. I feel like that. she'd fit with that group so well. Like, she'd have so much fun with them. Yeah, she, you're right. I mean, the way that your Ottawa team is looking, they still have like all the good vibes going. Um, oh boy. Okay. So I am up for New York. Oh my. Okay. I got my pick. <laughs> I think, I don't know if you're going to be surprised. New York is happy to select Elaine Chuli. <gasps> that is an off the board pick. Is it? Yes. Is it though? Have you been watching this season or? Oh, I know. I know how good she is. I'm just surprised you took her this early. We need a goalie. Why not take the best goalie in the league? <laughs> right. I mean, um, I'll have to look up. Do you remember where she was drafted? I think it was like, you know, eighth, ninth, tenth, one of the later rounds. So yeah, it was definitely later. Yeah. Here she is in the second round off the board. She is the number one goalie for my New York team. All right, Boston, you're up. All right, so I think I'm going to go and pick up Kelly Flynn again. She's played in Boston before, and I think she'd make a great pairing, especially with Megan Keller. Hmm. Wait a minute. Really? <laughs> okay, I got to find her because... I mean, I love her. She plays for Toronto, but she's she's well down on my list. Um, but she's had a good year. She has been, uh, you know, a, a pleasant surprise for Toronto. Okay, I gotta um, just type it she's in. She's down on my list, but I had her on my list. She's the way she walks the blue line. Yeah, it, I freaking love that. You're right. That's a special noticeable is i hope i'm even spelling this right um i believe that's right uh yeah she she literally you know does like the side to side heel to heel um and is definitely a good defender i thought you might take fratkin or somebody like that but interesting choice okay well here i am and look 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 who's still on the board what do you know Jocelyn LaRock. Oh, you kept the pairing together. Oh, yeah. Double the double the fun. And I think, uh, oops, um, I think that both Fast and LaRock, you know, get better when they have the other one to play with. So it's like you get like a double bonus of mm -hmm. a great player and a great D pairing. Eating up the minutes. Oh, I'm liking my team. My, my Toronto team looks looks very nice. Still, I think, the top team right now. All right. Wrapping up our um, second round, Minnesota, you're up. Okay. You guys went very off of my list. So, you know, still some terrific players here that I didn't think would be available. So I'm going to go with Savannah Harmon wow. for Minnesota. I like that pick. Yep, you probably needed a defenseman at that at this point. I did not think she would still be available. Okay, so Savannah Harmon. Wow. It, like it's going to look or it looks so weird visually. So yeah. let me um in case folks are not looking at the screen and seeing how, you know, weird or interesting this looks. This is so much fun. So I'll just let you know, um, right now, Minnesota has Kendall Coyne, Kelly Panic, Taylor Heisey, Lee Steckline, and Savannah Harmon on the blue line. No goalie yet. Toronto has Sarah Nurse, Blair Turnbull, Natalie Spooner, Renata Fast, Jocelyn The Rock. No goalie yet. Boston, Hillary Knight, Grace Sumwinkle, Megan Keller, Kaylee Flanagan, and Aaron Frankel. Team New York has Alex Carpenter, Abby Rock, Micah Zandy Hart, Ella Shelton, and Elaine Chuli. 
Otto Aubrey and Jenner, Emily Clark, Emma Malte, Sophie Jakes, and Emirates Mashmeyer. And Montreal has Poulin, Stacey, Jamie Lee, Jamie Lee Bratre, Aaron Ambrose, and, and Renee Debien. So um, that is just a good looking six squad so far. Um, the second pick for Minnesota, the first pick of the third round. Yes. Yes. All right, Lindsay. So I get to pick again. And I, so the viewers didn't see, but we had to take a quick break. I'm not taking Daryl Watts because you talked about her. I had her next on my list. <laughs> like, I swear she, uh, she yeah, was next. We, had to, we did pause. Looks and like there's the arrival at some point. <laughs> Daryl Watts on Minnesota. I don't know. I'm blaming that on my eyes. I missed her name five different times. Would you have picked her earlier? Definitely. Oh, that's painful. Playing again with uh, she would later in the rounds. I don't know, because you got Rattray and Zumwinkle. I mean that's on one team though. Yeah, but I wouldn't necessarily take Daryl Watts ahead of either one of those. I don't know. I I think Daryl Watts is a is a is a um kind of a hot button, you know, player. People really love her and and you know, it's a bit confusing why she's been left off team Canada, but she's got all the skill in the world. Her skill is off the charts. Yeah. Like arguably, I don't know if I'd say most skilled player in the league, but she's definitely up there. She's, she's sure, tough. No doubt. I agree. All right. So I am up with Toronto. Oh, boy. I've got a choice to make because there's two names here that I really like. And it's going to be a forward. Oh, my. I <laughs> am going to take Katarina Mrazova. Ah, I knew you were going <laughs> to do that. <laughs> She was next on my list. I won't say who else I was considering. She might very well go next. I don't know. But Mrazova, fourth overall in league scoring. Yeah, I wanted her. She was next on my list behind Watts. Really? And I wanted them together. They're so magic together. (laughs) Not anymore. Now she is magic with Natalie Spooner and Sarah Nurse. That's going to be our, our top line right there. Uh, since we don't have Malte. Um, all right, Boston, you're on the clock. Go ahead with your next pick. I think I'm going to take Maureen Murphy. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, and um, she did she go to Boston or Northeastern or Harvard or <laughs> one of those um, universities? Lindsay, you must like, know this. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it was one of like, those, <laughs> yeah, like a Northeastern, one of those ones. I'm not sure. Yeah, for sure. It's a Boston and, you know, she's got the Irish name. Okay, she's going to look good up there with Zumwinkle and Hillary Knight. Um, great, you know, complimentary player, young player. So building for the future there in Boston. I like that pick. And I like it even more because I'm still looking at a name that might be available. I get. I wonder to who it is. Next. Oh my gosh! I don't know. Oh gosh. Okay, but now I have to think about position. No, I'm just going to take Alina Mueller right here. Oh, yeah. I kind of forgot she was still on the board. Yeah, you kind of <laughs> forgot, and the GM of New York. Like, on my list, I was going to redeem myself. Nope. There she sits <laughs> with. Good for her. We've got the A team, Alex Carpenter, Abby <laughs> Rock, and Alina Mueller. Look at Another out. theme. Wow. Toronto and the A team. I think I'm killing this, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious how these lines would actually do like in the league. Yeah, I mean, look at these forward groups. They're I mean, this is potent right here. Um, all right, Ottawa, you're up. Jeez, I don't know who to pick now. Um, defense or forward here? Let's see. 
I <sighs> you know what? Give me Kristen O'Neill. I love her. Oh. I love her game. She's a pest. So much energy. I can't believe she has one goal. Like, I, I don't know why she doesn't have more goals. Um, but I love her game. So get, I, I would love her on Ottawa. Oh, yeah. I mean, her and Malte on the her same. Malte? Wow. Good luck. Would love it. <laughs> Good luck. Have fun. <laughs> that would be such an annoying line to play against. They're, they're uh, Malte and O'Neill are kind of similar. They're small. They're, they're very similar players. Two way players and untapped offense. I love that pick. Um, and I did cross her off here. Okay. So, Montreal, we, you've got two picks. So, Go ahead, Kelsey. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna pick Hannah Miller. Oh, oh darn it! Okay, Hannah Miller. She has been a very happy surprise, or, or you know, just um, I'm gonna. Look, well, I did look up where Elaine Truly was drafted, and it was the. Th- 12th round or 13th round oh wow so, yeah. what a climb <laughs> yeah she's a she's <laughs> leaped to the top but hannah miller also a late round pick i'm sure and um just a really nice surprise fitting in in the top six in toronto um wasn't all that well known which is probably why she wasn't drafted earlier um you know she hadn't played um in the the um, PWHPA or, um, you know, against the players. So they maybe weren't sure where she would stack up because she played in China, right? And um, she's a goal scorer. She's wearing the right number there, 34. So, wow. Um, Montreal, A. All right, Montreal gets another pick. Oh, my goodness. All right. I think I'm going to go with... Jamie Bourbon. Jamie Bur- Oh, that's going to be a nice looking D there with Aaron Ambrose. Let me spell her name right. Jamie Bourbon. So a nice looking Canadian feel mm-hmm. there with Rattray, Ambrose, Bourbon. Okay, not much to say about that. Just good pick. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, Lindsay. yeah. Sorry, sorry. No, she is, I had her. I had her uh, pretty quick here. I was gonna pick her, but no, she's, she's gone now. The board. <laughs> okay, my turn. Mm-hmm. Jeez, I don't know what position to go here. Both of the players I want to take are already on Ottawa. uh let's see what i got over there okay you know what let's take a defenseman i will go with ashton bell nice yeah i can't argue with that one um she has been very you know everything they could want and i think her upside is crazy um, she's still so young. She's playing great for Team Canada. Alexa just reminded me to take out the trash can. Um, sorry. She's playing great for Team Canada. Um, wow. Jake's and Ashton Bell. Wow. I don't know. Ottawa is looking pretty dangerous. I'm liking my team so far. In your hands. Yes. But I get to go next for New York. Um, my next player on my list is a goalie, but we already have Chuli, so I'm going to go down to my next player. Uh, oh, boy. Um. I am just going to go ahead and take a defender, Dominika Laskova. Ah, That's mm-hmm. right. You forgot about her because she's been injured this season. I did not forget her. I, I love know, her. No, you, you didn't because we love our chip <laughs> She's players. like 100% on my list. <laughs> she was right after Ashton Bell on my list. Imagine her there with Ella Shelton holding <laughs> down the fort. Ooh, that would be a fun pairing to watch. Yep. 
That's such a mobile defenseman than the one that would just blow you up. Yep. <laughs> she is a great player. Hope she comes back strong um, next season. Um, okay, so that's Team New York. And now Boston, you're up again. All right, I think I'm going to bring Jillian Dempsey back home to Boston. Right next oh, okay. I think she's I'll been missing it. Yes, I yeah, I'll agree with you there. I think she needs to go back. <laughs> I think Montreal fans would be okay with her going back. I'm just going to say it. Um yeah, she belongs there and might as well take her while she's still on the board. Jillian Dempsey, so look at that uh Boston Irish connection starting to show up there. Um, all right. Oh, Toronto. All right, Toronto. You're on the board. Toronto is killing it. Uh, oh, and I get to take another player that I think Lindsay was going to Don't guess. do it. Don't do it. Oh, there's two. There's actually three players on Ottawa right now that are next on my list. What do I need? Oh, maybe the defender. Nope. I'm just going to take... Teresa Vanishova. I'm okay with that. I can live with that. I do really like her, though. You're just pulling the Carla McLeod right now. I don't. I'm <laughs> going by my list. Um, I okay. So no spoiler, but Gabby Hughes was very close on my list, so she was in the running too. But I, I mean, with Mrazo, I might as well take Vanishova, right? And Get that line going. So Toronto takes over the the check connection. Yep. Okay. Minnesota. Minnesota. Okay. Who do I take? I don't really need a defenseman, do I? Well, I get to pick two, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, my next forward was Gabby Hughes. So I'm going to stick with that. And Minnesota gets another Ottawa all these player. Ottawa players are going <laughs> high. Soccer. Isn't that weird? Not weird. Yeah, they are kind of forming an Ottawa thing over there. <laughs> Toronto ha- has uh, an Ottawa pair, and now Minnesota has an Ottawa pair. Interesting. It just looks weird, doesn't it, with these names? All right, the- and you get another pick. <sighs> Who to go with here? Don't it's do weird. it. No, I don't know. Who it's weird because I I want the player on auto <laughs> more than I want them on Minnesota. They're there, they're there. I mean. You know what? I'm, I'm not letting you get another Czech player, so I'm taking Anita Teralova. Ouch. <laughs> the, only, the only thing stopping me from getting such good players are the pronunciations of the names. <laughs> Oh, those yeah. three players. Don't let that stop you. you. Work on this. <laughs> I'm just going to get fl- I'm going to get flamed from my pronunciation. <laughs> we'll let you know. We're pretty we're pretty big on it. <laughs> I'm trying to get them. I'll try my very best. Close no, as good. possible. We'll, and I'll get as close as possible. There are some some alternate pronunciations of some names That's true. so all right, so we're back to Toronto, and oof, I already said who was next on my list, but let me just look it over because I might need a defenseman as well. Yeah, I was looking at a defenseman, but I think there's a really strong choice here for Toronto. Welcome to Toronto, Susanna Tapani. I knew you were going to pick her. I could, like, predict your list. <laughs> that was my next pick. Oh, great minds think alike. <laughs> or uh... she's been really good for Boston. How do you feel about the trade? I I like it. I'm happy to have her. I really. I mean, I miss Jay because I didn't really get to see her play much. I mean, no one really did. It was. I feel like it was still such a very early trade. But I'm just happy that both players are succeeding where they are at. Yeah, I, like is, I love. When both I love teams... her. I love her game style, and I she she is a good person to have on a team. I was definitely a good pick for Toronto. Yeah. I, <laughs> she's just, you know, she's she's so versatile. I mean, she 
she's great on face-offs. I think, you know, I'm so happy that she came over to North America and... Leading the way over on Finland. Yeah, she's playing great for Finland as well. So multi-sport athlete. Yeah, mm-hmm. ringette. She scored a wicked. That's crazy. Goal. Okay, Boston. Boston is up next. I think I'm going to keep Emily Brown where she is. I think she's a solid player to have on the back line. She is a tough customer. That's a good looking blue line. I gotta say, she is. A, she is. She can. She's aggressive. She. She's good back there. Who um who has been Megan Keller's defense partner? Is it Brown? Okay. Well, I think it's Fratkin, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Fratkin. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to look at the past lineups. Yep. Yep, Fratkin. It looks definitely okay. It was either Brown or Fratkin. I knew one of them. Okay, it's all good. Okay, so New York is up. What do I need? I'm just going to take the best player available. I'm sure I'm going to steal her right out from Lindsay. Uh, whoa, I've got a, an interesting pick. This is this is where you, this is always like in fantasy in these like middle rounds that it's won or lost. I'm staring at this name, and I'm just going to take her, Abby Boreen. Oh, you did go with her. Does her, like, I'm I'm assuming we're not, like, factoring her circumstances in. Um, yeah, I just am going by, if they're on the list, draft eligible, which she must have been. I moved her way up when I did my pre-draft rankings because she's just been... You know, a, a total, she's been effective in every game she's played. She's noticeable. She's scoring. She like, what else do you want her to do? Um, so I took her and I'm happy with my good choice. pick. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Ottawa. Oh, back to me. OK, you know what? I need some I need some toughness on my blue line. And Fratkin just loves to bully people she just she's out there to hit you she's out there to make it hurt so i'm gonna take kaylee fratkin i'm sorry boston i'm sure you wanted her (laughs) good pick no doubt i mean look at our blue lines you've got i mean toronto needs somebody to go along with that top pair so does montreal but like these ones with the three already are looking really good um and so let's see where montreal goes next maybe Blue line, or let's see. All right, this is one of those names I don't. I might need help with. Um, Chloe Arard. Arard. I think it's Arard. Arard. Okay, I was close. Yeah, that wasn't that, that wasn't that off. Got her right there. Arard from France. Welcome to. Was well, that because she's northeastern too? <laughs> <laughs> I just know her. For, I just know the player, the type of player she is from another friend of mine, favorite of hers. So I kind of associate myself a little bit. So I kind of know a little bit of her gameplay. Yeah, she's. Um, you took. She her. went really high in the first, in like the original draft. Did she go twenty four? Or did she go higher than that? Yeah, one of us should have the actual list so we can like ooh and yeah. ah when we. Go yeah, I'll, I'll pull. Board. Hold on, people. I gotta. Okay, there she is. Yeah, I think um, you know expectations were a little higher. I don't. I don't know if she's um, been playing up high in the lineup in New York, but you know any of those New York players that have underperformed a little bit would be interesting to see them with some different teammates. So yeah, for sure. I mean, definitely. It's a very young group in New York. Like you put her on Montreal, she's got a lot of veterans there. All right, in Montreal, you get to pick again. I think I am going to pick Genesee Rose. That's going to look good on their blue line. Whoopsie. American defender. Uh, Who's got the most international team so far? 
probably you. <laughs> you got the flu. Uh-huh. Go over, well, um, New York has Mueller. Yeah, Toronto's got the um, the Finn and the the checks. Well, I would have, but you took my players. <laughs> imagine on the actual draft day that when you know some of the names went out like, oh like they you took my go. player we didn't see any big reactions but could you imagine gm's you know, jumping like, over the table oh, no <laughs> you can't you know carla mcleod no you can't take those those check players um all right you're up Lindsay, building your strong ottawa squad oh okay who we got here Chloe Arad went 21st, by the way. Oh, wow. Okay. The original so draft. Pretty, well, Ooh, you know that, what? But... So, mm, tough pick, tough pick. I, re- I really want her back. Montreal took her. I, I really want Boulier back. I like her game. Amanda Boulier. Very, very small player, but plays big. And she is surprisingly American with a name like Boulier. Um, we thought she was that American. does shock me. I would not have yes. thought that. She is an American defender. And I think, is she 30, 32 or 30? I don't want to really? age her more, but I think she's 30. Um, but uh, a great player and an interesting trade uh, for a Gia. I'm so, I'm so sad she left. Yeah, her and a Gia, I'm really sad they left. <laughs> Oh, wait. Amanda, who did they get? Venetia. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah. Um, Boulier for Venetia. Yeah. It, that's why trades are kind of heartbreakers because you're happy with the player you get, but you look at who you gave up and it's. Because you can't do the draft picks and stuff. So, yeah. you got to give up a player that you really like. Yeah. It's got to be more of a hockey deal. Okay, um, I'm up with New York, and there are a lot of good names still on the board. This is where the big bucks get made. Oh, boy. I'm going to take Haley Skimura. Okay, I was waiting for it. I was like, how have I not taken her yet? Yeah. She I was going to my list. I was going to take her just now, but... Boulier got me. Yeah, I I could see. It's just too tempting. She's right there, and she is a proven, you know, quality um, forward. So she's going to look great there with Mueller, Rock, Carpenter. I mean, wow. Good luck facing my team, New York. All right, now... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think I'm going to go with Hannah Brandt, keep her in Boston. I think she's been really solid up front. Like that. Is that on I your have... list too, Lindsay? No, no. I, I thought you were going to take somebody that I really want. But you didn't. <laughs> but guess what? There's still a chance that I take. I know. Uh, don't take her. Take a Hannah. <laughs> All right. Let's put Hannah. Any more? I don't know. <laughs> Could this I team... like Hannah. Look at this. She's look how player. Boston this team looks, except for Zumwinkle. You have you have a lot of Toronto on yours. Yeah, you're right. I can't be too biased, but I got to mix in some of my boss. They're the players I know the most. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and Hannah Brandt, you know, being, um, you know, best friends with Hillary Knight. And, you know, it's kind of like the two for one package like we talked that about. That chemistry is going to it's going to take off. You get you get, you know, double your double your value when you pick those those players. All right. Okay. Toronto, go. I got to know who you're taking. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, Toronto still needs a goalie. Yeah, you, yeah we don't have goalies. <laughs> it's because there are a couple of, you know, good goalies that, oh, boy. I want to tell you who I'm thinking about, but that would, you know, I'm set on who I'm taking, so you if you are. don't... So I hope I take her. Yeah. No, don't take her. <laughs> I think you just told me that it's not a goalie. This is going to get real ugly real quick. <laughs> it's like a playing referee. <laughs> I'm going to go by my list and take Kristen Campbell. She's the next name, and we need a goalie, and she's been great so far. 
And I don't think that's the player that was on your list. It is not the player that was on my list. So I'm so excited to say who it is. Yeah, you're being very mysterious. Who is this player that you are holding on to? I would like the Snipe Show Lauren Gable. (laughs) Ouch. How have you not? (laughs) She's on my list. She was my next one. Kelsey has left the room. (laughs) I'm trying to not pick so many Boston players. I don't want to be so biased. I'm saving them for the later rounds, but it's not working out for me. You can't see. No, Gable's too good to go late. Oh, man. I know. Look Girl's shot is ridiculous. All right, and you get another pick. And I've turn. got, I've got. How are you, you going to top that? Oh, geez, I got to go again. Oh. <laughs> okay, I got to knock some of these players off the list. You already took all these players. Ooh, do I need a defense move? I don't know that I do right now. Oh, I want to take a player, but I feel like Kelsey might hate me if I take her. <laughs> Don't let that stop you. That another we're here, boss. We're here player. to win. We're in it to win it. So I have a Boston player on my list. I am. So this is a Boston player, but I am from Saskatoon, and so is Sophie Shirley, and I want her on that team. <laughs> she was not on my list, but I love that for you, Sophie Shirley of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Is she? Um, she was so good in the rivalry series. I felt like I really saw her step up. Her skating is so good. I I, I love her. I'm. We need to talk about her more. We talk about Emily Clark a lot. Sophie Shirley, also repping Saskatoon. Yeah, yeah she was. Um, how many games did she play in the rivalry series? The last three. The last three. Mm-hmm. I was really hoping she would make it to the worlds, but it's very competitive, obviously. Yeah. Yep, but she is an up and comer, and that's a great looking forward group that you're assembling. There. I got a stack. You forward. don't have a goalie yet, so you know. I'll get my don't goalie. Don't get too cocky. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so start so drafting I'm, all the goalies. Mm-hmm. There's there's a few good ones. <laughs> Leave you with none. I'm kind of afraid you'll do that. Actually, it's a long time before we get back to Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota and and Montreal have to. What round is this? Um, good good question. Let's let's. Does one of you want to read out? Let's each one read out your rosters really quick in case anybody's listening and not watching. Could you start Minnesota? Just read your roster. All right, Minnesota. We got. Do I just say the ones I picked? Yeah. Okay, I've got Thanks. Taylor Heisey, Daryl Watts, Gabby Hughes, Lauren Gable. Sophie Shirley, and on the back end, Lee Steckline, Savannah Harmon, and Anita Teralova. Wow. All right. In Toronto, we've picked Nally Spooner, Katerina Mrazova, Teresa Venetiava, Susanna Tapani, uh, Jocelyn The Rock, and Kristen Campbell. Boston, who have you picked? All right. For my forwards, I picked Grace Sumwinkle, Maureen Murphy, Jillian Dempsey, Hannah Brandt, and on my back line, Haley Flanagan and Emily Brown. New York has picked Alina Mueller, Abby Boreen, Haley Skimura, Ella Shelton, Dominika Laskova, and Elaine Shuley. Ottawa has Emma Malte, Kristen O'Neill, and on defense, Sophie Jakes, Ashton Bell, Kaylee Fratkin, and Amanda Bouye. All right, uh, Montreal has Jamie Leradre, Hannah Miller, Chloe R. Uh, uh, Anna Ambrose, Jamie Bermanet, and Jensi Rose. Thank you. All right. So we are in the seventh round and we're going to do 10 rounds and then uh, just add our our final names to our rosters so we can feel that they're complete. But we're into round seven and the teams are looking really good. I hope, uh, you know, listeners and viewers let us know which team they think would win or make the playoffs in this scenario. It would be so much fun to do a fantasy league. Uh, But Toronto's on the clock, and I'm going to look at my list. Wow. (laughs) It's always like, do I take the player from Toronto, or do I take the player that I actually have a little bit higher? I'm going to take Alexia Gia. Not surprised. (laughs) (laughs) Lindsay is 
getting bugged with my. Now I gotta pick another flyer. Yeah, now we're up to Boston. All right, I think I'm going to pick J. Ooh. Uh, wow, that okay. was tough. I was going to kind of have my heart set on Lexi on that one. Okay, um, I think I'm going to go with J. Downey Landry. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I was go. hoping she might just kind of slide. Oh, I actually have nope. her above. Welcome to Boston. You know, Kel- imagine on the Kelsey day. got mean. <laughs> I know. What's that? Kelsey got mean. She's just like, nope, nope. <laughs> Is mine now. Thank I'm you. just picking a mess up. <laughs> Imagine on the day if they like were making notes so messy that they like, oh my gosh, I actually had her hire because I just did that. I I crossed out a bunch <laughs> of names and I literally had like Jade Downey Landry crossed out and she's not. But that's okay. I'm happy. Uh, so wow, look at that nasty group of forward. <laughs> They've got some attitude there in Boston. Surprise, surprise. Um, okay, New York is up, um, and I've got a nicely balanced roster, so I can just take, let me make sure, oh, good, I'm glad I spotted this person, Jesse Eldridge. Yeah, you guys are literally going down. She's <laughs> way up on my list, like, I think. I'm oh my god, she's on, oh my god, I don't know how I missed her. Jesse Eldridge is a sneaky good player, a very versatile forward and she's gonna stay in her home team of new york okay you know what okay you guys have literally been taking my list um this <laughs> round. um like one by one um but i need a sniper i'm gonna go with Brittany howard i love her shot she's got an mm. absolute that's a good pick yeah, I like that pick. Uh, Probably she didn't go a little sooner. She kind of flew under the radar there. Yeah, but you know. Yeah, a little bit. These are the rounds where, like, kind of like there's some really good names there, but every name that goes by, you go like, "Ouch!" I want to, you know, you want <laughs> them all. Okay, Ottawa stacking up nicely, and we're into Montreal territory. All right, I think I'm going to go with Maggie Flattery to finish off my back line. <laughs> Just making the wall. That's I have your list. Oh, that your, hurt. Your list got leaked. Your list got leaked <laughs> on the <laughs> internet, Lindsay. We've got it. We're just doing this to torture you. We took that break and you guys just stole my list. <laughs> <laughs> you did. <laughs> We got in a, a secret. We found it. We got on the dark web and stole your list. I think that's. Um, I think that's a. That's a good defender, though. I think that's gonna finish it off nicely. She's so I'm surprised. What's the word for it? She's. I don't know. She's in your face. Yeah. Every time. She's. Go to the, she's like, in your face. You're in the corner. She's in your face. <laughs> like. Yep. Yeah. I she belongs in Minnesota. <laughs> there's certain Not kind anymore. of like Lashkova's welcome to Montreal and uh yeah Flaherty is in your face for sure okay Montreal you get another pick darn it all right I think I'm gonna go with um I think I'm gonna go with Alexa Vasco Ooh. where are you getting some of these from they're like so far or in some mix. She's a good player. Suddenly we're getting into like everyone stealing all the Toronto players. We had a run <laughs> of Ottawa players. Okay, Alexa. Just so you can't get them. That's right. It's a smart thing to do. She's a good, I think she's a bottom six, mm-hmm. but you know, who knows? Um, all right, Ottawa, I work well? you're up. Jeez, you guys took all my players. <laughs> we did. You still have some on there? I have. I have some. Yes. I just don't know who to pick the spot. Got to change that. I've got a really small group here. I'm trying to think. <laughs> oh, a Geo would fit really nicely right now. Wouldn't she though? She I know. Stuff. I was waiting for Montreal for that. 
You know what? I'm going to go with Jill Saulnier. She's a very skilled player. And I feel like Carla McLeod would let her play freely. Let her be creative. Yeah, she's a... That's a good pick. She's a good pick. She's been... She's been hurt. So we haven't seen her a ton. But I have liked what her. Seen. seen her. Yeah, she... Um, I know she scored in the, you know, the historic first game. And uh, she's one of those players I think is really popular with her teammates too. And, and that matters. And... For Ottawa to, you know, keep the good vibes. That's a great pick. Okay, so I'm up and look at my beautiful... Feel free to smack talk also, you guys. I'm up and, wow, I've got a player that's probably ranked a little higher than I should have, but I'm not going to second guess myself. I'm going to take Catherine Dubois. Oh, oh, she had size. God. <laughs> you forgot about she it. had size. Ooh. Oh my goodness. This league is so like talented. Like there are these players in the late round that is they're good. Yeah. Yeah. Some of these players um were not even drafted. I don't I don't know if Dubois I want to check for that. Well, she's so a reserve, talent. right? Yeah, she she's a reserve player that and there are a couple of those. I've you know, Abby Boreen is one. You've got two on your team. Oh yeah. So Sneaky good. All right. And Boston. All right. I think uh, I'm going to pick up Jessica DiGirolamo and keep her in Boston. Oh, Jessica oh. DiGirolamo. Mm -hmm. DG. Good pick. Okay. Some I don't know a lot about her. Tell me about her. <laughs> she's got some good... I think she's definitely on the better side, like with the aggressive, and she's... She's always there. I feel like she makes a good pairing on the lines with whoever she's with. I think she's just solid all around and can play where she needs to be. She is a good. Alrighty. She can be you know, play a little higher or yeah, I think she's 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 been noticeable for me with Boston and I'm selfishly glad not to have Dark Angelo and Di Girolamo on the same team. <laughs> Um, all right toronto all right you toronto uh oh gosh i have to get a defenseman at this point but there's a yeah you got no defense you're not wrong That's you're just gonna why. play them 42 minutes a night <laughs> <laughs> you know if it happens in real life we might as well oh gosh there's <laughs> another forward that i really really want dude you gotta get some defense <laughs> get yeah Right, so the next defender. Both your teams. I'm going to just make sure I'm not missing anyone. Wait, no, I want a defenseman. Don't take the defenseman. <laughs> take a goalie. I am taking Mariah Keppel. Okay. She has been a pleasant surprise in Montreal this year. And has really cool clothing that she makes and is going to get along just fine in Toronto. Okay. To Minnesota? Yep. Okay. Well, I guess I should probably take a goalie, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, without one, but... The only with team without a goalie. Um, you know what? Give me Kareem Schroeder. I love her. Ooh. Like, she's kind of been getting, like, she's on a New York team that's given up goals, but I think she's she's really good. You know, that wasn't a bad strategy to follow because you loaded up and now you just got, like... I just got... You couldn't go wrong with goalies. Like, that was my strategy. It didn't matter who you took because yeah. they're so good. Yeah. But you got to get some of those forwards quickly before they go. So then I'll take a defenseman. I feel I feel a little spiteful with you. I'm gonna take Lorianne Rougeau. <laughs> Lorianne, a shootout hero, defensive defender. I like her game. Sneaky good player. Mm -hmm. Every team needs to have, you know. Someone like that in the back end. So, 
well chosen. I can't argue with that pick. She's just not going to look right in purple. Back to Toronto. Back to Toronto. Um, and I still need D. But because I have her higher, I am going to take Maggie Connors. Good pick. Surprising you all. That is a great pick. Our Newfoundland girl. Newfie. She got to play with Team Canada and live out her childhood. You know, um, that was so cool. Foreshadowing when she was just a little one on the ice. Seeing her, seeing her standing with them, that was so trippy. I really like her in real life. So I Maggie Connor, 62, 62nd overall in the real so draft. We're, we're not quite in that territory. What round was that? 60. That's 11. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep, she's been she's been good. Okay, Boston. All right, I think I'm gonna go with Denisa Krizova. I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure how to say her name actually. I Maybe. did the best I could. Yeah, Chris Krizova. Krizova? Like I don't I don't know. What oh it yeah, Krizova. That might be it. <laughs> I, it looks like the right thing to do is not to put the accent on the ov, like brova, like kriseva, kriseva, uh, Venetian. Kriseva. I think that seems to be the trend, but kriseva. So she goes from the nice-looking Minnesota purple to the dastardly Boston green. I don't know what you have against the green man. I love that horse. <laughs> I don't like those jerseys. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's certainly a hot take <laughs> Kelsey right. tell her how beautiful that jersey is it's right behind Wait, you look at that this one that is a that is a beautiful no green. I can't see that one no oh then you mean this one no dude hers is better <laughs> than Toronto's blue one <laughs> no I like Toronto's the I really I like Montreal's too the I green like is the very green. Green. I like all I like the green. green I like the shade of the green I'm glad they didn't go with like a light or green yeah I, I don't know what cb has against it but <laughs> she just hates it I'm not a fan of boston teams in general so all right we're <sighs> up to where are we? new york um and i can go pretty much anywhere with this pick so i'm gonna take the boy i mean the goalies are just sitting there <laughs> i just left you all the goalies like but yeah, we didn't really follow the real life trend of taking the uh, the defenders early. So, you're on the clock. I know. <laughs> um, I'm going to say, welcome to New York, Zoe Boyd. Good pick. There were a couple there that I was looking at. I'm just going to go on my list. I like her a lot. And she's a good depth defender. We need that. Okay, Ottawa. Jeez, we're getting to that time where I'm like, <laughs> I got a lot of players here, but I don't know what's like separating them, you know? There's not like, oh, a clear cut player anymore. Hmm. I already got defense, eh? I might. Yeah, I should probably get a forward here. Let's see. I really want a Gia. I'm really mad that you took her. <laughs> we'll do we'll I wish I knew. I wish I knew. Later. Like, I wish I knew their heights off the top of my head, but I do not. I feel like Snodgrass is a pretty big player. Give me Natalie Snodgrass. I need a. I need somebody to screen the goalie. <laughs> yeah, you do. I think they are using her now that Ajia has gone. So I'll take Snodgrass. All right. She's got some skill too. Yeah, she's been she's been a very versatile player for them. Some players are staying home and some are off to different teams. And so, Montreal, who are you taking? Oh, I don't know if I want a goalie or not. I feel like I, 
Uh, well, my first pick, I'm going to take Taylor Gerard. Mm-hmm. Ooh, from Boston. Good pick. Surprise you would let Montreal. Oh. But yeah, you got to do the right <laughs> really thing. Really debating on that goalie, though. Yeah, I think, I mean, we're going to finish it out, so we will be needing to take another goalie. So don't sleep on a goalie if that's what you're thinking. Coming to the end of the 10th round. So after that, we're just going to um, finish our draft picks off screen, off air. All right. I am going to go with, there's a little theme on these two picks. I'm going to go with Emma Soderberg. Ooh. Boston. Is that the theme? Yeah, that was the theme. That's the theme. Unintentional, but. Yeah, that that's. Could have put her with that tandem. The with, Boston duo, uh, but. Frankel and Soderbergh is a good tandem, but I feel like she definitely would fit well in the Montreal. I can't disagree. I like the look of that tandem for sure. Um, okay, Ottawa. You know what? I, another player, good size, physical player on forward. I'm going to take Emma Woods. That is a sneaky good pick. You just got a lot meaner. Yes, I need some more meanness on this team. Yeah, <laughs> Emma Woods. <laughs> I think she's on the bigger side as well, right? Yeah, she is. She's a big body. Yeah, yeah, she is a she's a good strong player. Back so, to New York. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so I took a defender. I've got a really good looking team. So next in real life on my list is Michaela Cava. Ah, uh, we just got a lot meaner too. I was waiting on her. <laughs> this is the thought. Maybe round. I could get back to Minnesota. <laughs> nope, she is coming to New York to wear the teal. All right, Boston, you're up. I think I'm gonna go. With, oh, uh, you know what? She's still on here. I think I'm gonna, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Gigi Marvin. Keep her in Boston as well. Gigi, nice pick. I, I love really her play. Like love her player. play. Um, I believe she wasn't drafted. I think she was just a free agent. Um, yep, she was a free agent. Free, free agent. Free agent. Free agent. And, <laughs> and a good one. Um, good. Yeah, that was a good pickup by Boston. Some leadership, veteran player. For sure. Okay, back to Toronto. Uh, at this point, we need some more defense. And so... Oh. I am going to welcome to Toronto Katie Tabin. Ah, good pick. Ooh, those are both Ooh, Montreal. I like her. But yeah, she, I think both her and Keppel have played with Ambrose this year. Um, I think it's Keppel at the moment, but yeah, I like her game. Okay. To Toronto. We're finishing out. Can someone count? round we are yeah we probably should have kept track better of what this we're is the 10th round. <laughs> oh okay all the pressure is on i guess no pressure finishing out our inaugural redraft minnesota picks no uh, let's go with claire dalton i like her Oh, that's a good pick. Look at Minnesota. I love my forward group, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to look it over when 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 we wrap up and and see, argue again about which team really won this day. But uh, we're gonna let this be the end of our live video portion and i will fill out the um next draft picks we'll just go through those um by ourselves here 
And so thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're listening and want to see the graphic, this will be posted all over the place on uh, our social media. So thank you so much to um, Kelsey, Boston fan and writer, and to Lindsay, our P-Dub Central expert. And I'm CB from Game Day Hockey. And this has been the podcast. And we're going to do something like this again. It was so much fun. Um, hopefully we can do like a fantasy league for next year. I think that would be a fun thing to do. This was genuinely so fun. 100%. <laughs> it got a little I, heated. I really enjoyed it. It got this. a little heated at moments. It did. <laughs> I got a little bit intense. And there's a clear winner. Let's just, you know, I'm teasing. All right. Well, thank you so much. And um, thanks for participating. Thanks to all of you for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next podcast. Peace out. PWHL Pipe Drop Podcast. Yeah.